Trading Sir. Deal for Zal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for the trading session. The uh, Monday uh, we have today is the uh, 17th September 2018. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal Signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. Certainly download the uh, app. app the app at the uh, Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, so Asian markets down again, especially with Mr. Trump obviously threatening uh, potential, although given the fact that they were, uh, Mr. Steve Mnuchin, the Treasury Secretary, did uh, allude to potential uh, uh, talks with China. And Mr. Trump poured cold water all over that, given the fact that he reiterated that ch Chinese sanctions would go on regardless. Okay, so certainly isn't, uh, doesn't look well at present. Chinese markets certainly are obviously plummeting again overnight, certainly uh, hitting new potential lows. Uh, if I just bring up a chart of China, I'll give you an insight here. If I have the uh, World Index Fund here, Ch uh, Dow Jones, Shanghai Index, do I have a Shanghai Index? I don't think I have it here at present. Yeah, I think I took it off before. Okay, so... Uh, Dow Jones, Shanghai, so yeah, there we go. So again, you can see here daily charts certainly plunging to new lows. I mean, looking on a weekly chart in terms of China, let's see exactly where we're going. I mean, it's been a fall, quite considerable fall, uh, almost such in 500 now down to 365. Now this key level at 365 is your key, key, key support of China. And that's potentially where we'll get news with regards to a potential trade deal with China now. Whether or not that helps lift the uh, US markets is in the question altogether. Okay, so in terms of Chinese markets, any weaker trade uh, concerns, etc., etc., etc. Now, European markets certainly have taken it in their stride, okay, and they've certainly uh, shaked it off as well to a large extent. Now, the German DAX certainly pushed higher, okay. Uh, in terms of news this morning, you're ready to see inflation numbers, uh, and obviously we're suffering with the post Draghi uh, trauma as well, given the fact that it was certainly hawkish, so bear that in mind as well. And inflation numbers out of uh, eurozone certainly have come into that effect now you can see the german dax certainly uh, a short squeezing high up to gap fill once it got to gap fill then it started to reverse quite sharply so that resistance zone now around the 12 130 uh, is, is a key key support zone key resistance zone to 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 certainly watch out for okay uh, in terms of the french cac let's just give you an insight into the french cac here okay so french cac again uh, certainly uh, stalling at that fib 50%, which is 5365, giving you an insight into the smaller time frame. Let's just go to a 60 minute chart. Again, key resistance is holding okay around the 5360 zone. Okay, looking at a bearish engulfing candle at the moment. 10 minute chart as well, reversing back down to those pivot lows. Okay, you've got gap fill below at 5330, so watch out below in terms of French cap. FTSE 100 did actually push high up to 7320 and obviously it's reversed quite sharply now back down to 7370. Uh, interesting scenario in terms of the FTSE, especially with regards to no deal Brexit being the uh, predominant theme at present. Okay, that uh, pivot high up to 7320 was very strange and now as you, as you can see here we're certainly uh, crumbling at present uh, looking to hit back down to 7225. So watch out below in terms of the FTSE 100. Okay, I think that's a good summation, really. Again, Asian markets lower, China concerns remain, trade war concerns remain, etc. So watch out for all those factors as well. The Euro stocks and the European markets certainly have shaken off the weakness. Uh, and again, that needs to be respected. On that note, please be sure to visit CFDs.com for your trading needs and be sure to visit uh, TradeSignal for your latest trading app. Goodbye now.